Hello, um, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Micah. This is my first video on this channel, um, and so I wanted to have a good way to introduce myself and to introduce my channel um, here on BookTube. So I thought I would start with the BookTube newbie tag. Um, I have the questions pulled up on my phone here. Um, I really like this tag. I love watching other people's videos of this tag. I feel like it's a great way um, to quickly get to know um, the, to know a channel for you to get to know me quickly. Um, so I'll be doing uh, the 10 questions here on the newbie uh, tag. So the first question is, uh, why did you start this channel? Um, I started this channel just to be able to have another medium to be able to talk about books and uh, share my love for books. I write reviews of all the books I read on Goodreads and I talk about the books that I read with my friends in real life. Um, and so I wanted a kind of a third medium to express uh, my love for books and to have another way of, of discussing what I'm reading. Um, question number two is, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? Um, I think probably the main one would be, I read a very eclectic array of books. I read very widely, and so I think that I will be able to sh hopefully share some interesting books with you that maybe you haven't heard of before, and then, um, you know, be able to spark some interesting conversation from there. Um, that would be the dream. Uh, question three is, what are you most excited for about this new channel? Um, I think I'm most excited just to be able to have another venue for talking about books. I have been a longtime consumer of BookTube. I absolutely love watching BookTube videos, and so I thought it would be fun to try doing my own. Uh, question number four, why do you love reading? I love reading for so many reasons. Um, I learn through reading. I love reading to, to better myself and for the education value. Um, and then of course, I love reading for escapism. I love being able to just jump into a different time, jump into a different world, and just for that brief moment while you're in those pages of that book, you kind of can, can let your own life kind of go away and just have this new, this new adventure to focus on. Um, question five is what book or series got you into reading? So I started reading um, really, really late. Um, I didn't really start reading for fun until I was about 14 or 15. Um, and so really what got me interested into reading was was my dad. My dad is, is really big into history. And so I would start, talk, I would talk with him about different things that he was reading, and I, I really got this spark lit in me to, to want to read for my own. And so I, I jumped right into a lot of these historical um, nonfiction books, a lot of, of, of World War II history and a lot of World War I history really fascinated me early on. And so I really got interested in nonfiction first, and then um, my mom loves, loves fiction and poetry and literature, and so um, she started influencing me in that direction, and then now I have kind of both the nonfiction and, and the and the fiction love. A question number six is, uh, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Um, you know, that's a really hard question for me because I, I have so many questions that I would love to ask all of my favorite booktubers, but what I'm most interested in is everyone's reading process. We all read differently. We all read in our own unique ways, and we have our own strategies that we uh, deploy when reading a book and we always have kind of these different interesting um, um, habits that we have when it comes to reading and so I always love talking to people about their reading habits and, and finding out how they read and how they approach a new book and how they approach picking books that they want to read next and I, I find that very fascinating so so that would have to be one of my top questions that I would want to ask. Um, question number seven is, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Um, I think for me, probably just making making the videos. I, I don't have any trouble talking about books, but um, it's talking about books when there's not a person in front of me, um, I think will probably be the hardest challenge to overcome. I'm so used to having face-to-face -face discussions with people, and so when you take the other person away and you just have the camera in front of you, um, it's a little daunting for me, um, but that that will be my, my main my main challenge to overcome, but I think that I'll get there. Um, question eight is, when did you start reading? Um, so I kind of alluded to this in the question about uh, what series got me into reading, what books got me into reading. 
Um, but I, I started reading a little bit later. I, I really didn't get comfortable reading until I was about 11 or 12. And then I didn't start reading for fun until I was about 14 or 15. Um, and so I would, uh, so I've been reading for about five years, um, actively. Um, question nine is where do you read? I read absolutely everywhere. Um, my favorite place to read is here in my room. Um, I read m mainly at night, um, but I, I try to read all throughout the day as much as I can. I always carry either a physical book or my Kindle with me, and any time I have any, any downtime, I love to pick up my book and read for five or ten minutes, and that, that lets you make a lot of good progress throughout the day, but the bulk of my reading is done in this room at night. And the final question, question 10, is what kind of books do you like to read? I like to read almost anything. Um, my main genres of choice are literary fiction, classic literature, and then historical nonfiction, particularly 20th um, century uh, conflicts, so World War I, World War II, the Vietnam War, the Korean War. Um, and then I also really love just contemporary fiction. I don't, I don't read a ton of it, um, but I read it every now and then and I always enjoy it when I do. Um, I try to make my reading time, um, I try to get as much out of it as possible, so I try to read widely and I try to plan out my reading in advance, and so when I come to the end of a book I know the next book to pick up, um, and that helps me to not have too much downtime or lag time between reads. Um, that was kind of a long-winded um, answer to that question, but I, I could go on forever. Um, but the short answer is I read basically everything. Um, so that is the final question. So I'm going to end off there. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found some of my answers interesting. Um, if you did, um, definitely feel free to leave a comment down below. And um, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.